Chad Gibbs and one of our own caught up with him earlier in the week. Hi, I'm Marco Rojas from the Melbourne Victory. Marco Rojas is on fire in the A-League! When I was younger, um, it was hard to get into some of the teams, especially the um, representative teams. That was probably the, the hardest one. The coaches tended to go for a more physical side of things. Football is not a physical game, it's not, it's not what, I mean it's part of it but it's not the whole big picture and um, I think some people tend to get lost in that. Gave me that little bit extra incentive to show people I guess that you don't have to be the biggest person around to, to do well in professional football over in New Zealand and here in Australia. I think it's very important to have a, a solid base around you whether it's your family or your friends or Whoever you want to associate yourself with, um, for me, it's really important. I, I enjoy having my family around me and um, gives me that extra support I need. It's a tricky profession. I mean, it's not always going to go perfect for you. It's not always going to go really well. You're going to have your ups and you're going to have your downs. And to have the people around you when you have both your ups and your downs is really important because they're they're the people that are more than likely going to help you get, get through. Rojas, what a turn, what a goal! Having those sorts of experienced players and, and John board this year, um, it's, been, it's been really good for me. Um, as a young player, you're always, you're always learning. Playing games is what every footballer loves to do. Uh, I don't know if I should say this because the coach might not be happy, but um, training's, training's just not the same. Um, being out there on the pitch, with your teammates and just playing playing games is, is what you want to do. It's important to, for players not to forget that I guess in the end it's just a game of football. Um, it's what you've grown up enjoying and it's just the same as if you're playing in the park with your friends. The only different aspect is that you're playing in a stadium full of people that come here to watch you. Chance to win a trophy, uh, it doesn't come about. It doesn't come about that often and um, you don't, you don't get, yeah, like you, you don't get many chances. And to be what three wins away from being able to lift the trophy as a team and as a club, I've definitely realised that it's something that when you know you have a chance, you have to really go for it and do everything you can to achieve it because you don't know when you're going to get that chance again. No doubt at all, this guy has been one of the most exciting aspects of the entire competition all season. Set it alight very early on, maybe a little bit quieter, maybe in the middle middle part, but certainly seems to be right back in their halves. Yeah, quieter away from home than he was has been at home. He's been fantastic, Mike. What a what an entertainment package in himself, elfin like as he is, um, and I think probably lulls people into a false sense of security because there's not much of him. But he runs like the wind, got great touch. I he's off contract with Melbourne Victory and presume they get through further into the finals that these discussions will be put off but I hope he stays I hope he signs for a longer term with Melbourne victory maybe on the back of next year's World Cup if the Kiwis qualify he can do his overseas thing now I'm not quite sure he's ready for overseas just yet very ready for action tonight yeah though. look this is the right place at the right time for Marco Rojas Harps because he's got a coach who believes in him which is so important he's got an on-field mentor and Archie Thompson who can bring out the best of him in terms of uh, how he plays the game your memory's uh, a long one, and I'm sure you remember Michael McGarry, the only other New Zealand player I've ever seen with a similar type of skill set as Marco Rojas. So he, he is an unusual player to come out of New Zealand where physicality, as he talked about, is so important. But um, it's going to be interesting, this final series. You know, it's about big game players, about stepping up to the plate. The fact that he even did that media this week tells me that he is ready because he is media shy. And he did touch on a very important point there, which was family. His family relocated from New Zealand to Melbourne to provide him with that sort of support. And that is fantastic for a young player. He certainly has been one of the absolute standouts in the competition and no doubt about it for Melbourne victory. Hello guys.
guys, well, welcome to Etihad. Massive, massive game, of course, sudden death. And look, this is a little bit, it's like the last, isn't it? It's the last chance for both times, uh, both teams. And is this the last time we'll see Rojas? A lot of European interest are around him. And of course, you know, he is so key in a lot of ways for Melbourne victory that when they attack, he's links with Archie Thompson.